Hello everybody. This is English with Seco. Welcome. English with Seco. 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 To be or not to be. <laughs> That is really the question. The verb to be is one of the most important verbs in English language. In this video, you will see why. First of all, we need to fully understand that this verb has four different forms and seven different versions. Let's see what do I mean by that. So I told that it has four different forms. These are about the tenses or the time that we are talking about in the sentence. The forms are like this. Be, am is are, was were, been. Be is the base form with no changes. It is used with the future verbs with will, want, or modal verbs like can, may, would, could. You see this form like this. Will be, can be, could be, and so on. Am is are is the form that we use in the present tenses. If the time is talking about now, today, in general, present, you see this form in the sentence like this. I am. He, she, it, is. We, you, they, are. Was, were is always the past. If the sentence is talking about yesterday, last week, last year, and so on, we always use was or were like this. I was. He, she, it, was. You, we, they, were. Been is used with the perfect structures, which talk about the process of a verb, like I have been, he, she, it, has been, we, you, they, have been. Look at this table. As you can see, we have four different forms and seven different versions. This is all you will see about the verb to be in the English language. When you see it like this, I hope it feels less complicated than you thought before. This is not about understanding the logic behind this verb. This is something that we have to get familiar with while using this verb. Pay attention, I did not say memorize, I said get familiar with. Because memorizing stuff is a small percentage of learning a language. The most important part of learning a language is getting familiar with these things. The forms of the verb to be changes according to the tense, like I am calm. I am calm. Today, I am calm. Today, I am. Tomorrow, I will be. Yesterday, I was. Today, I am. Tomorrow, I will be. I was yesterday. I have been for six hours. I will be tomorrow. I was yesterday. I am today. She was yesterday. They are today. We will be tomorrow. We have been since 1921. What I was doing was actually about the time and the usage of the verb to be. Do this as a practice at home. And you can even practice this inside your brain. I am today. She was yesterday. We will be tomorrow. They have been for a while. This practice will help you to internalize the essential usage of this verb. You need to get used to the usage. After you do it, trust me. It will be much easier to use it automatically. So far, we have only focused on the usages of this verb. This is something we can't question, because it is how it is. But I think we should question why we are using this verb. Pay close attention now. In languages, we have two different types of sentences. One, sentences that give you action. Two, sentences that give you situation or a state. Let's first talk about the sentences that give us action. What do I mean by that? In these sentences, you need to have a verb like go, come, do, play, run, and thousands more. These verbs give you the sense of action. In these sentences, we talk about what we are doing. But in stative sentences, there is no action. I am an engineer. What is this person doing in this sentence? Nothing. We are not talking about the action. 
This person is only telling us the situation he is in. He is an engineer. That is his situation. He is not doing anything in the sentence. There is no action. The logic is, we use the verb to be in the sentences that do not tell us any action. Of course, this is one of the usages of the verb to be. And we will talk about the other usages of this verb in the videos to come. Please subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Let's take a look at other examples. She is in a hospital because she is very ill. My father works in a hospital. Really? This is great. Maybe he can help her. He's not a doctor, he's an accountant in the hospital. This sentence gives us the information about the place. She's there. That's it. There is no action, right? Only the situation is great. That's all. He is not a doctor. He's an accountant. And these are giving us information about the occupation. My father works. We already have the verb in the sentence. Work. Don't forget, we can't use two verbs in a single sentence. Unless two sentences are connected by a linking word. We are gonna talk about that too. Don't worry. Everything will go step by step. Let's focus on the fact that we can't use two verbs together. I play go basketball every Sunday. You can see that there's a problem in that sentence. Come on, play go. I play basketball. That's all. So never ever use I am go to London. We don't use the verb to be with an action verb. I hear this mistake from my A1 students. I am go, we are climb, they are run. This is because you're too much focused on the usage of to be. Focus on where to use, like saying I am, that's okay. But focus more on where not to use. Don't forget, we don't always use the verb to be in our sentences. So where do we use to be? In the sentences that don't give us any action. No action, to be. Action, the action verb itself, this is the essence of it. If you have any other ideas about the usage of the verb to be, please make a comment in the comments section. And don't forget to leave a like. Until I see you in the next video, take care.